Well, hello, this is Jimbanism, Total Notary Channel, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about ship classification and weapon classification. And also uh, inform you that the Jimbanism Industries has created a page on StarMade Doc. Uh, because if you go in here, you can go to Community Content. Uh, no, that you can also go. We have our ships there. <laughs> but you go to Shipyards. And in shipyards there are lots of different, basically it's like factions, but more focused on people that build ships. Um, I thought first it was the system, but no, this is basically for people that build ship and want to show them out. So, um, I created a page here because it's very suitable as we make ships and release to people that want to use them, like a company, so to say. So I made a totally in... Uh, in character page here on the StarMade docks here or the shipyards uh, forum in StarMade community. Um, yep, and oh, by the way, um, we will change it a little bit. But I created a you know in in character homepage for Jimadism Industries in StarMade. So we have you know the about page with a little. You know the codex video we have a contact or you we also have a link to our you know the accounts we upload the content we make right now link to facebook page twitter page google plus page youtube and yeah star made doc star made doc yeah and i also put the you know the commercial files here i just had to well, enough of that homepage. Please check it out because it's super cool. Vix, you can create, you know, homepages for free there. So, um, about cl ship classification, um, I posted a little um, post here, which basically goes... Um, it's most of the information is taken from this page, um, but I, modifi I modified it a bit and I also... You know, removed some details uh, because you can search this, and it's more. I think it should be more freely. It you don't have to have the exact amount of power or shields. That up to you. Uh, if I make a armored boat, I won't have as much shield as I had if I made a you know shield fighter. That's very light. Um, not to jump between the things. Let me just you know. You should go and look at this page yourself. But you know, we have the uh, a very very in character um, description of the we are a multi-galactic mega corporation actable in multiple trades and markets you know all that uh, on top we have the codex file which you probably have seen you know it's nice yeah and i encourage you to check that out here we have our current assets i will keep this updated so you can see here is the battle fleet um, with the current uh, ships that are included into the battle assets. You have explanation of all the fleets. Uh, I made this page very in character. The upcoming royal fleet, the GI transportation with all the shuttles, space bikes, long distance, and also the freelancer ships um, or freelancing ships. Not to be confused. Heavy industries assets. You know, all the info is written here. Please check it out. Please write comments down here. We have turrets. Um, and, you know, check out the resources. Please rate them also. That would be fantastic because rating is always fun to get. See what people think. You know, some links, some 3D models to check out. And the ship classes down below and the weapon classification systems here because that we're also going to talk about. So, how do we classify ships? Well, we classify ships using block count um, because I found block count is the best way to classify ships as for now. Um, it's absolutely the best way. Now, some people want to use mass to classify ship, but there is a problem here. Because if I use mass, you know, some blocks have bigger mass than others. That is, uh, advanced armor and crystal armor has very heavy mass, while um, hull has very light mass. So, that means that if you use mass to classify ships, 
then maybe they would classify a, you know, a battleship and maybe a frigate as the same class because they have the same mass. Because say let's let's say this battleship is made out of uh, um, is made out of shields. It has lots of shields, it has lots of hull, so it's a shield fighter. The shield is the main thing, so it, it's really big and, you know. But it's not that heavy as it should be, you know, because it's uh, it uses lighter blocks. Um, while this frigid here, maybe it uses lots on lots of, uh, you know, heavy blocks. It has advanced armor, it's a very slow, it's a slow and tanky vessel. But still, thing is, this still has lots of more blocks than this have, but they still have the same mass because this is advanced armor and this is uh, hull and shields. So that's why I want to use block count instead to classify ships. I think it's a more fair way to classify them right now. So uh, that's what we're using on Demonism Industries. Um, also, if you use block, um, maybe they will change masses of certain blocks in the future. They probably will, and that will render the, the, the previous classes basically useless because the mass changed. Something that doesn't change, block count doesn't change. So for beta and alpha phase, block count is the absolute best way to classify ships. And now what classes do we have here? Uh, I put in some extra classes that are actually not maybe needed, but, you know, it's boring to have the, the least amount of ships. You want to have a bit more varied to choose from. You can look them up at Wikipedia and then you can select the correct thing depending on how your vessel will be. And this is Star Made, so it really freehands how you want to make your ship. You can select the classes you, th um, you think is appropriate, basically. What do we have? We have Shuttle class. It's a role class. Miner, Salvager is a role class. Transporter and Freighter, roll classes, jump ships, roll classes. Roll class can be any size, because it's just, they fill a role. Like a shuttle can be a space bike, or it can be a quite big vessel that I need to dock, you know. Scout class, it's a scout ship, also roll class, and AI is a AI piloted craft meant to be piloted, but only a AI computer which is naturally also a role class. They can be big, they can be small. I don't think that all drones should be super small. It's probably better to have a few more powerful drones on your ship, as you can dock them again now. Dimensional submarine, it's, uh, it's you know, the stealth ship we currently have, which is a uh, perm perma stealth ship, um, you know. It looks like a submarine. So, stealth ship, also a rogue class. They are probably quite small because it's hard to make big ones. Then we have light fighters. Light fighters are between 100 and 700 blocks. Medium fighters are between 700 and 2000 blocks. Heavy fighters or bomber class, depending on the weapon equipment, are between 2 and 4000 blocks. Corvette class start at 4,000 and end at 7,500, and then up it goes. I added the destroyer, which is between the cruiser and the frigid class. Uh, destroyers are usually very fast and maneuverable in real life, so it may be a good idea to have them, you know, have a good thrust ratio to your ships that are destroyers. I'd say. Uh, well, we have battle cruiser, which is basically somewhere between cruiser and uh, dreadnought, like a light dre uh, battleship or dreadnought. Dreadnought I added because it's you know um, the battleships exceeded the dreadnoughts, um, but the dreadnought sounds so awesome, so we need we need to have that class. Uh, it's basically the same size as battleships, but. Uh, it uses heavy calibers, is my imagination of a dreadnought. Then we have a Titan class that between 200 and 500,000 blocks, so it's a really big ship. And then we have the Deus class, which is um, from half a million to one million blocks, so it's a quite decently big vessel. <clears throat> of course, there are lots of bigger vessels than this, but. Uh, 
We haven't built so big. Uh, over 1 million block we haven't built yet on the Geomanism Industries ships. Uh, we'll probably add more classes later, but it's a good idea to focus on the not super big classes, because if you have two big ships, I'm sorry, but it likes the system. <laughs> Also, I love this little image. This is a little a plus the wisdom of the shark here. Um, here we have different stuffs, you know, different. It's it's a propulsion, defenses, and weapons. And there is a basically a chart where you can look at and see, get an understanding of how the ships should be set up. Um, you know, it's nice. Check this out too on the page. Um, about weapon classifications, I made a little post here. The Gmanism Industries is classifying weapons um, depending on, you know, the systems. That doesn't make sense because I read and I thought at the same time. Let's just take this from hand off. Um, so we classify weapons depending on how what systems they are. And the biggest thing in weapons is the block count. It's again the block count because in the alpha and the beta sh uh, beta phase, the uh, damage per block and everything like that and the effects and all is subject to change. Why it's not a good idea to write DPS right now as it might change the next type date. Uh, also, the in-game DPS... <coughs> excuse me, the in-game... One sec. Yes, sorry. The in-game DPS um, might be flawed. It's... You, you don't know if it works. Um, it seems to only count the main system, so you shouldn't look too much at that. It seems, you know... Not updated yet. Okay, so um, we classify. I have a little cold hanging on, that's why. But we classify ships in uh, block count as well as weapons. Uh, the beam is shorted with B, the C is shorted with the antimatter cannon is C, missile is M, whoops, um, P is pulse, damage pulse. Um, if you have a support system, you write this, the thing with uh, small letters. The main system is a capital letter. Um, if you want to have a effect, you write the short of the effect. So, like here we have an example. This is a long-range beam. A beam with 100% support of beam with punch-through effect of 10% which make this a BB100 PT10. And in brackets we have the 2400, which is the total size of the weapons, because all, we all blocks contribute. So this is the technical name of a 100% long, long range beam with 10% punch through. Another, ex uh, another example, uh, here we have the simplified not the simplified, but you know, here we have example, a, a, a 40% supported cannon of under cannon. So it's 40% rapid fire effect. Um, so we have a CC 40 with explosive of 30%. And then you should also write the total, you know, size of that weapon. Yeah, cannon with 40% cannon support, you know. That is 40% increased rate of fire and explosive effect of uh, 30%. So you just write in the main system in capital letters, the support system, whatever it might be of one of these four in small letters. And then you write the percentage of support um, <laughs> where 100 is max because you can't have more. Uh, then you write in punch through. If you have punch through AP, if you have armor piercing, you know, OD, if you have overdrive, or Eber, I sometimes use. Uh, and then you write in the percentage support and then the, you know, total size. You know, and then you, when you know the total size of a weapon, you know how powerful it is. If it's overdrived, you might understand that the damage, the, the damage is much more, but it's also much, uh, takes much more energy. Yeah, so that's basically how we classify ships in the Gemonism industries and how we classify weapons and how I suggest you to classify weapons as well. So, well, 
that's basically that. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this little video and I encourage you to check this page out for yourself. It would be very fun if you wanted to leave some likes uh, if you liked it, this video. And uh, yeah, check out the page, rate the resources if you have some opinions on them. And, you know. Well, see you around, Jimmyism Total Nourishal. Officially signing out.